Hey guys, so today we're going to be installing the Metal Cloak sway bar links. I have two sets of these for the rear of the vehicle and obviously for the front of the vehicle. Right now I'm running the Rubicon Express sway bar links and the Metal Cloak instructions say to use a 18 millimeter, which the bottom is on mine an 18 millimeter but the top is 19 millimeters so obviously check those measurements first make sure you've got the right tools uh, we're going to be using the red loctite on this this is the washer and nut that comes supplied with the sway bar this will be going on the bottom you will be reusing the factory hardware for the top and yeah we're going to go ahead and get these installed and swap out the old ones for these brand new metal cloak gold chromoly sway bar links. Alright, so this is a pretty straightforward install and I'm starting on the left rear here first. Um, again, in my application I have a 2017 Jeep Wrangler JKU, uh, the Rubicon, and I have these Rubicon Express sway bar links, which is the last component of the Rubicon Express package that I had installed when I first got my Jeep. Uh, the metal cloak instructions say that these are 18 millimeter top and bottom. Mine are 19 millimeter on the top and 18 on the bottom. So again, check your instructions, or rather check your measurements and make sure you got the right tools for it. when I wish I had my 18 millimeter ratcheting socket. It got trashed and I haven't picked up a new one yet. Talk about making sure you have the right tools before you start the job. Always seems to be something. There's the Rubicon Express sway bar link, and there is the Metal Cloak sway bar link. I did misspeak a few minutes ago. I said keep the top hardware, but it's the bottom hardware that you want to keep. So make sure you keep the bottom and not the top. Okay, once you have the old one taken out, you're going to want to install the bottom first and then the top and again you're using the factory hardware for the bottom and you're using the supplied nut for the bolt on the top we'll go ahead and get those tightened down now and metal cloak specs are 75 foot pounds on each we'll get that taken care of next
that's the install of the left rear for the metal cloak gold chromoly sway bar link it's about the easiest install you can do it's pretty straightforward that's the new one for the left rear it took about 10 minutes the only issue I had is that because I have these Falcon shocks that I wasn't able to get to this bolt back here very easily but it's nothing too difficult straightforward okay so this is the right rear we're going to go ahead and loosen the top of the sway bar link and then the bottom the top is a 19 on mine and then the bottom is the 18 so we'll go ahead and get that taken care of now and get that removed Here's the right rear sway bar link installed, 75 foot-pounds. You want to use the factory hardware on the bottom and then the provided nut on the top. We'll go ahead and get the tire back on and start with the front. Alright, so this is the front left and here's the sway bar link. We're going to go ahead and loosen the top first and then the bottom. I'm going to try to do this without removing the tire. I think I can do it. I'd rather not have to go through that hassle, but we'll find out real quick, see if I can get these taken care of and get the new ones on. Okay, on the front, they tell you to remove the bottom bolts and nuts first, which are both 18. We're going to do that first. And then on the top, inside this bushing, is a 19 so we're going to put a 19 socket there or a wrench here and then an 18 on the outside and get that removed so the bottom first and then the top So this is the front uh, driver's side sway bar link, the old one. Uh, this top nut here was a pain to get off, but eventually with some pressure it finally came loose. Just make sure this is what I'm talking about here. This side is the 19 millimeter, this is the 18 millimeter. So just apply some pressure and it'll eventually come loose. Okay, we're on the front passenger side now. And one of the early issues I ran into is my track bar mount, because it comes out like this, even though I'm not using it underneath now, this part here, sorry, this part here is now in the way of the bolt at the bottom. So I had to do it manually. I couldn't use an impact driver, which it eventually came off, but something to consider. Uh, this will be in the way and it was a bit of a pain to remove these haven't been removed since I've had the vehicle so for three years these have been on here uh, but yeah this bracket and mount are going to be in the way on the Rubicon to get at the bolt nut on 
this side. So, oddly enough, on this side, I couldn't use the impact driver down here because of this mounting bracket and the upper sway bar on this side. The nut I couldn't get to and put enough pressure on it because of the drag link and the tie rod and just getting no room to be able to pull on that. So I was able to get the impact up in here and loosen this top side. So keep that in mind uh, just because of leverage and being able to get enough pressure on it. So I was able to loosen this and get this one taken care of and we'll get the new one installed now. Okay, we're on the garage floor right now looking up at the front passenger sway bar link at the top the bottom is down below this is the top so one thing I want to point out these are the metal cloak 12.25 inch sway bar links and they fit perfect in the rear of the Jeep and the front ones my original ones were 11 and a quarter so when I loosened both sides I had to loosen both sides to get the sway bar to move up and down enough to adjust. Um, this was definitely a tight fit getting this on here. I talked with Metal Cloak previously and they said it should be fine. Let them know if it's off by too much. But So there was about an inch difference on my fronts with the originals versus these Metal Cloak ones. Metal Cloak does suggest using the red Loctite on the upper only. So we're going to get that done, tighten down, tighten down the bottoms, and get those to 75 foot-pounds. Okay, so that's the install of the Metal Cloak sway bar links, the Chromali Gold Zinc sway bar links. Uh, this is the front left. Just finished tightening it down. The only concern I have, and this is lack of my understanding of this, but so obviously here's the sway bar. Now before, with my old ones, the sway bar went to here and now you can see the difference so we're talking about two inches difference I don't think there's an issue with that uh, because this is just the connection for it but uh, if you have any ideas and thoughts on that leave it in the comments below so yeah there's the install all four are done and I've been super happy with the metal cloak products that I have the tie rod and drag link, the track bar, and the rear track bar that I installed two weeks ago. Hope you guys found this useful. Like and subscribe and help out the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys next time.